uh, doing better. Me too, actually. Me and Ryan both actually got the T.O. buff. His is a bit more exponential than mine, but... We are going to see Marth versus Robin here. This is going to be interesting. No, I think they're button checking. Oh, I think they're just going to play out, or are y'all going to... Oh, they're going to play out. Oh, yeah. I, I hate that joke. <laughs> Robin's a funny character because I, I like to say she's good for exactly 60% of the game. I would say she's a high tier, actually. High, high top tier for 60% of the game. Whenever Robin has Levin, she's a really good character. Now, here's the problem. You can just camp her out and make her be in the 40% more and only choose to and like to fight them when they're at the 40. That is true, but camping out Robin is not the easiest thing in the world, especially with certain characters. Yeah, it does depend, but Robin is like one of the slowest characters in the game. So that like, if, if you're able to like look like, if you're just play like a certain outside of like Robin's range, all that Robin can really do is try to like short hop towards you and try to get some cooking and it's, and since Levin is kind of like, like, you know, it's not like an RSM to me and, and the more you spam it, you're losing it more. I must say, it is interesting seeing the Marth come out, just because Lucian is, I would argue, overall just way better. Yeah. With consistency. He, he definitely, he plays both, and it definitely comes up depending on what he wants in a matchup. Uh, like, I was talking to him, like, he was fighting a snake and he played Lucina, because he just wanted to break Cypher with back air. Um, but then, but like, 90%, 90, 95% of the time, you're going to see Marth over Lucina, because he likes Marth way more than Lucina. Do respect that, though. Yeah. Ryan Gorp, oh, great. That's a big deal. Yep. Cool. Great job, great job. Able to close out this stock, and that's a really good fight for him right now. 50 already. That could be a kill. Oh. Doesn't get the down again. Those turn the lane up or Yes. Doesn't get it though. Mash in the down lane. Dude, dude. He's trying to fish the Oh, and. <laughs> and like that. <laughs> uh, Neris. Well, at least with Marth, you can blame the hair. That is the true. That is true. You can say, damn, this character sucks. Damn, I'm so talented and good at the game, but my character's bad. What can I do? Way smarter. Way more handsome, too, actually. Uh, but I mean, uh, Daris, I would be surprised to see him play uh, Marth. Especially, just, I don't know if you know, like, he plays a lot of characters. I've heard. I think in terms of, like, if realistically in bracket, I think you'll probably see 9 to 10 of them. <laughs> yes, the two stuff. Yes. Granted an SD, but that's still a big victory. Oh, yeah. No, that was a great job. Uh, so, Ryan going up a game. Naris, we're going to see if he's going to stay on the Marth. We could, there's a whole, like, crew of characters we can see coming out after. An entire headless to Yeah, oh, and, uh, yes. Massive, actually. <laughs> so... Uh, the band's on deck. No characters were said out loud, so we'll have to wait. Let's see. <laughs> Man, finding stages in this game is like, where's, where's Waldo? Yes, and so what will we see from Neris? He's walking around, he's thinking. Which one does he want today's room? Oh, Paul Lube. He's one in the lottery today. Yeah. He has quite a few characters. All his best ones are low tiers, so we'll see if uh, if one is low tiers. He has a few top tiers. Yep, there's the low Pazooie. tier. <laughs> it's time. Off brand duck hunt coming into the shop. This probably is his best character. I don't know. Is Isabel's kind of been on that tier? His Isabel beats like four people, <laughs> but it beats them really well. <laughs> oh, that's. No, but the banjo like, consistently. Whenever I've seen him in situations where he needs to start winning, he pulls out banjo. I, I think at this point it's probably the best character. Um, it might still be Terry, just because Terry requires no skill to win with. But like, it's good. It's a low tier. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey. Like, oh, oh, great find. Yeah, All right. I'll see you tomorrow. I got carried by that controller. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bring the whole group. Bring more people. I'll try. Bye bye. What's happening? Oh, well, and also, okay. His banjo, he's a camper, number one. Big, That's big true. camper. He's going to be throwing out eggs. And also, it's funny because banjo's camping does like 2% for him to win. <laughs> so it's really funny. What do you mean? Just get the macro on That's true. Just It is funny because banjo does have a lot of super optimized combos that you can go for. But the funniest part of banjo is that, like, really, you're only getting like 25, 30 off of like a super optimized combo whenever Cloud's doing forward air neutral B for like 36. That's why Banjo, that's one, Banjo's a lot of reasons why Banjo kind of struggles, um, but that is one of them. Ooh. Ooh. Goes for that. Scramble. Yeah, if you, if you can find a grab there, like, it's not a guaranteed kill, but it's a pretty, like, it's like a coin flip of the kill after he does a down throw. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you only have to react to see if your opponent is mashing the situation. Yeah. It's, 
Well, because Bandos is weird because they're almost always just going to do the up tilt, but they only that will only hits certain characters when they're buried. And for a lot of them, but you'll see the Bandos, you'll see them hit up to a bunch of times and just hope for the time. Yeah. And like that, if you, you see, he can get you on grab What's up? Back here. Do you see a great space for the arc line, but see the banjo gets out of it. Always a pleasure. Yes. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Drive safe. Everyone's fine. Yep. That's just he was gone. We see the players talking mid set. See you tomorrow. We see the players talking mid set. Uh, in Sam Houston, they have a tournament every Saturday, uh, and it's and right after. You what? Is it prison break? Prison break, yes. Every single Saturday, a lot of us go because it's an hour away, so it's kind of like. And also, they all go to all our stuff, so it's kind of like we might as well go to. Yeah. Especially, and um, there's just less people there. Um, so, and because of that, like you're just gonna stay in bracket longer. So for a lot of people, especially if you're on a mid, or, like mid level in CSAT area, uh, going there is a really good idea. You'll just be able to like, get more bracket experience, which is very nice. Um, also, you fight more the people there. You'll be finding them more consistently too. So you're able to like here and here getting top six instantly. You're gonna be finding people every single time. And so it's kind of nice to start developing those skills. Uh, but right now, Nair is losing right, a significant margin, and Banjo can just easily find a kill here. Uh, so. And Kaylee Love also not the type of player who's gonna randomly go for app smashes either. So uh, it's gonna he's gonna have to I forgot my bad. I forgot he has a random app smash button in the air. <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> yep. I, the grenade's so cool. I don't like the grenades blocks all of his projectiles. So he just throws the grenade out oh, and is so Yeah, and so he's not able to use the neutral beat. He has to then use the side beat and you can just jump grenade and punish him for it. it it's really good the way he's using yeah, it. Yeah, by the time the grenade actually gets into a good setup is just way out of line. Yeah. So he can punish whatever Ryan tries to go for. It. Exactly. And so, like, I don't know how this matchup is in reality, but it hit, nailed Neris is making it look difficult. Oh, fine stock. 80% though. <laughs> just throws the grenade. It's so, Ban Banjo when he throws the grenade is so funny. Oh, he just. The Thor on. Where are we at? Uh, this is a uh, winner's finals. Yes. So and final. losers, semis is happening. And then whoever loses this, we lose finals. Ryan is Ryan is guaranteed third. Yeah. Yes. Go. Now, now he gets to move. He moved up from just from consistently from like 13th seed to now he gets to move up in the world now. He's doing really good. I mean, uh, he was talking uh, like he figured something out uh, at the start of the semester. So I don't know what it was. Well, he did something with Archfire, but I don't be real. I don't even know if it's that. I think he's just playing better overall, like just in different ways. Yep. That's the thing. Weird. That's the thing. So here's the thing. Broken. No, it's not. So some characters it hits them. Uh, most of them it doesn't. And it only hits you if you mash. But also, it's so fast he can just throw it out a second time. But, you, but it's a mini game. You had enough time to forward smash, so like you can't tell me that's not like it. No, because well he baited him because he started mashing and he stopped. Oh my god, are we oh. playing Smash yeah. Brothers or Mario Party at this point? It is Mario Party, 100 percent It's Mario Party. It's Mario Party. Yeah, we got a new yeah. DLC from Mario Party. Yeah, <laughs> new Mario Banjo Party DLC. Just alongside dropped. Robin from Fire Emblem Addict. Yes. Isn't no. that crazy? Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ryan gonna be trying to get back in. Score. It's 1-1. One, one. Right. We had some, we had some tough. Uh, go Bell Delphine. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. You just like Bell Delphine, it's okay. You're kinda weird. <laughs> I know what you are. Yeah, we're going back into it. She's talking about Levin, so, uh, like, she, Scott's lead. Did you Scott's laugh? Like, yes. <laughs> He's a little witch. Yeah. <laughs> the Wicked Witch of the West starts to giggle. <laughs> yeah, literally. So it looks like we're going to be getting to most likely uh, up to lose final on stream. I think we're starting to play Grands somewhere else. Uh, depending on who's in it, we'll see what somewhere else is. <laughs> and depending on what it is, because I'm going to be real, if, it's, if it ends up being like, if it's Scott, Caleb, I guarantee you Scott DQs. <laughs> like, almost definitely just be like, I want to go home. <laughs> I got the Caleb mod. <laughs> Scott did win the last man. Yes, not the last one. It was, oh, it, was two ago. it was two ago, yeah. yeah. But no, but still, Scott this season, Scott is someone who's like consistently been like around number 10, and this season all of a sudden is top five. Like, and not even like, in like very clearly top five. And when we see, and the main thing is that we've seen like Snail kind of fall off, is that's a big part of it. Uh, Blackstreet's not attending anything. 
Uh, we have a character crisis. New character crisis. Neris has kind of been AFK, but he's, 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 he's you know, he's himself. He'll, he'll spawn randomly and do well. Uh, and then Dark Angel, of course, doomed to the Joker yeah, dimension. So, uh, so we're seeing a massive mix-up, which I guess we should have saw this coming, but it, it's still kind of surprising to see it in action. It's just a massive shit, like, mix of who is the top right now. There's, like, part of the that's happening. Like, every the tournament. Shadow Wizards. Yeah. I think every tournament. Oh, wait. I think I think the Whack Man took a game. <laughs> on, on, uh, on Scott. On he, Scott. He, he, he found the counter out. pick. He, he found the counter pick. He beat Scott with Ice Climbers. No, he beat it with Pac-Man. Oh, just now. <laughs> just now. He's like a game with Pac-Man. The Whack Man now. <laughs> he found the key. He found the key. It's time, boys. That bastard is going to owe me $50. Grant, I, you, I don't know. Bro, you didn't see it. It's just so sad seeing Chris sad every week, man. It's just, he just, he comes here. He gets upset, he gets like pretty angry, and then he leaves. It's a, <laughs> it's, a, it's so sad to witness. You're like, oh, Chris, no, just just play Toon Link, come on. He refuse upset. <laughs> You're so toxic. <laughs> yeah, it does that. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought this was even stock, and I realized. This is, oh, that's a, uh-huh. Robin sucks, bro. I've been saying it for years. No, that's just the wrong. I feel like that should have killed, like, I, I get that. Elf Thunder would have killed. Thunder would have killed. Ah. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not the Robin player. I don't player. know anything about this character. I just know how to beat them. That's about the extent of my knowledge. I don't know anything. I can't even beat them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the big thing about Robin is, and I, I think this is I think you have to think about a lot, is her resources, right? And, like, I think people get overwhelmed by that. Um, but you have to really realize that only really two of them matter at the end of the day. Thorn doesn't matter almost ever, right? Uh, the neutral B is important, but it's not that important. Like, it just kind of changes how she plays neutral, but it's, in terms of, like, what you're trying to do against the character, it doesn't change that much. Leaven is everything. If there's only one thing you're going to look for against the character, look for Leaven. That is the thing. That is, like, if you look at how she's getting her kills, if you look at how she's getting her damage, it's always coming from Leaven's sword. And, and sometimes it's, sometimes the Arc Thunder, the Arc Fire, too. Arc Fire is pretty good. Um, Arc Fire is the thing about so that's the thing about it is once you realize how to play around it, it's just a lot of full hopping, right? Because arc fire, it is it a lot. Any projectile that does this, where it goes, it starts above a character, it goes at forty five degree angle. Yeah. You can just jump over it, and then so all you do is you play around this this full hop spacing, and the character suddenly now can't like if they throw it out, they get punished, and so now they're second guessing when they can throw it out, and now you're able to get those normal openings and just running it off the ground. And that's how you, and that's how you kind of have to deal with those like there's a, there's another projectile that's like that too. I forgot, uh, but forty five degree angles are kind of weird, and it's why Robin sucks in my opinion. Uh, I think it's actually she's super slow. I think don't get she sucks, but I think she's a very bracket. Like she can very much win in bracket. Yeah. One of those, one of those type of car, one of those type of characters. Because very slow, very very slow. Uh, one of the slowest characters in the entire game. So very easy to camp out, and also has a bunch of resources that you want to camp out. The upside makes her not dog shit though. She has a bunch of different resources. So like it's not like if Eleven Swords down, she, she can get some arc fires. I've been thinking about what each character's uh, dopamine are you in this game. <laughs> Hers is art. Hers is actually. It's a lot of things for Robin, actually. <laughs> You're, Banjo's a side he, B. It is side B. <laughs> also, S Smash. Banjo's S Smash is so good. Yeah. But also, the way Kazooie goes. <laughs> when you hit it, it's so funny. Throw on heal, heal in that quick 12%. Uh, this is looking pretty tough right now. It's massive. Oh, yeah, no. You, he is mashing hard on these situations. He does not want to get on tilted. Oh. Hey, back to patience. Oh, was he waiting for left and no! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll do it again. <laughs> and I'll do it again. <laughs> you you got down tilted, missed like since 100%. He was down throwing you and then up tilting and then missing. There was a solid like minute where all the interactions were Caleb fishing for grab and then down tilting and then up tilting and then none of them working. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> You know what we should do? We should have the scoreboard behind the players. Behind the players? Oh wait, that means so we had like a showgirl basically type type thing with a giant board. Yes. Ryan did not bring his marker board today, so not not able to do that. Uh, we're also going to stop. We're at the close down soon. No, you're doing. Uh, I'm doing carpet tour. You want a slot? I I guess. I don't know. Should I go? Yes. <laughs> what, what, what time? Uh, we leave at two. So you can be at my house at two, or I can get you earlier, like 1.30. I'm probably going to pick up Tommy no matter what. A oh, Winter Cloth is going, because I'm about Tommy's to Tommy's going? Yes. If I can pick Winter Cloth up no matter. I'm, 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 I don't know if Winter Cloth drives or not, so we'll find out. What time do y'all normally get back? Uh, eight. So it's not too bad. Uh, the bracket's usually over on seven or six. Um, 
Depends on it. If you just, if you get out and you, sadly, I drive, the people who get first or second. So usually I'm stuck there for a while and I have to drive back at night. But if you just go and you play, even if you get like top eight, you're, you'll be able to get back home before sundown. So it's not too bad of a drive. I, guess I should register. Yeah. Yes. Is there an entry key on it? No, it's free. You have a car? You can go. And you can take people with you because if you want to go. Our drive. I like driving. So for me and our drive, I'm like, that's. Just, that's light work. That's true. And that's why you drive people because they'll pay for your gas. That is true. This, that's the pro strat. Uh, that's why I carpool. That's like, that's the main reason I carpool people. I'm like, I get to go for free, basically, <laughs> instead of having to pay some money. And everyone's just paying you like a $3 entry fee. But no one, they don't know if it was bad to give you $3. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. I will. What is parking like a Huntsville? It's easy. I was just like, oh, wait, crap, right. You also wanted to go Huntsville. Uh, it's easy. Uh, I can I'll, uh, if any whoever goes, I can send them the lot. There's a lot that has uh, open parking on the weekends, and you're like less than a block away, like maybe a block away from where the actual tournament is. It's pretty simple. Send it to me. I got you. The parking or the or the link to fucking. Are you going, Grant? But uh, anyways, what's happening in the game? They're camping. All right. All right we're at five minutes. I mean, these characters both like. Banjo is going to camp by the nature of Banjo, and Robin can't force that hard to steal. So Grant, are you playing? Are you gonna play? Him? Grant is most likely going. Let's go. You might be able to get a right from Grant. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm trying to remember who's Grant. Uh, Zuda. X El Presidente. Oh. X El Presidente. Let's see. Let me... Yeah, little Mac player. Yes, little Mac player. Yes. The goat. Average white girl. Oh wait, yeah, no new tag on deck, average white girl. Uh, I <laughs> Grant, if I at least see you in bracket tomorrow, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> well that's not gonna close out the stock. That's kinda crazy. I thought less our fair for sure was done. Unfortunate. Oh well, that was kinda of terrifying where we were living. It's Tillman roulette. Yes. Oh, literally, bro. Like, pro like, pro like minutes before. So, like, but I don't register now. To make sure you're there, but let's go. We're getting quite a few on the prison break this week, which is great because uh, they asked me to. So <laughs> we're, we're gonna get, getting quite a few people. That's good. Um, we love to see it. We have an average C7 half of their bracket. Part of the experience. See ya. Bye. <laughs> team Ty, Team Tykin. Wait, you got a zero death in bracket? Okay, but you got close in bracket. Okay, that's all that matters. We got it next time, though. Yes. Team Tykin learning zero death, guys. It's finally time. You should have seen what happened when we were playing friends earlier. We, we just sat down, it was the beginning of the tournament, and he was like, let me just grab you once, see if I can do it, and like, you know, and you can SDR. Away. I'm like, okay. And like, he starts doing the combo on me, and he hits everything except the upbeat. I'm like shitting my. Like, no. And I'm like, no, you should stop learning that right now. Not, I'm not. Actually, it's bad for your character. You see, you got punished after missing yeah, it. Really yeah. Bad. You should go for it. Yeah. I don't know. Bye, Marcus. Did. Yes. Did he enter me? No, he's. I don't even. He would literally, if he focused on one character and just like actually like was committed, he would be PR here. He's yeah. like that. Yeah. In my opinion. Yes. But, but he plays half the cast. He also has an he has an enter anything a lot. Does he go by a new tag? No, it's just the same super. tag. It's the same super, right? Yeah, I haven't seen him enter anything in like a year. Yeah, a long time. He's always here though, that's pretty funny. Yeah. He comes here to grind and then leaves. Yeah, <laughs> he likes he likes just to be here, but I don't think he just likes half the field, I guess. That's valid. I, I've no, I, in Smash will meet a ton of people who are like that. Oh, uh, you'll find people who are like, wow, you're really good. It's like, hey, do you want to play the game more? No. All right. Hey, look. <laughs> Naris right here. Literally being one of those people. You're always one of those people. Oh, yep. Good call out. 
He was, he was playing the part well. I was. Go play on Shinsen for losing finals then. Sure. Alright. Good stuff. Uh, definitely gonna be a basement grant on deck.